We have made this film to highlight a growing problem that we face every day in our community, and probably you face it in your community. Catcalling, hollering, hissing, commons, sexual harassment. Call it what you want, it isn't right. We have had enough. As young women, we want to know how can we make it stop. It's West down Claremont Road. Great Western Street. Claremont Road. Great Western Street. Wimsor Road. Maybe outside here because, like, if they know about youth clubs being on. Now it's like I don't even go walk through my side. It's more like I just go down Princess Road to get on a bus to go into town or something. Especially like, it's worse like at three o'clock as well after school because everyone, all these grown men are chilling outside the shops and stuff. And I remember walking to my friend's house and they'd all be staring at me in my uniform trying to chat to me. I just have to keep my headphones in and then just keep walking. I wouldn't even, I don't even give them eye contact anymore. So like it's not even that they don't understand how young you are? No, they know how young you are. They, they don't, don't care. care. They do not care. I don't, no, they don't care. Yo, you want foot? Shout me. What's your number? Give me a number. Yo, what you want tonight, you be? They'll just be staring at you. And they'll make it obvious that they're staring at you as well. Like, they won't even try and hide it. Or they'll bring their friends and they'll all stare at you and they'll try and talk to you. Every time I walk down there, someone's always got to shout me or... Shout you? Or... What sort of stuff are they saying? Hey, Browning. Hi, can I talk to you, please? How old are you? Bumping, like coming to my house. Shorty, <laughs> cause I'm short. A little girl, that's been shouted to me as well. A little girl come over here. They all shout like, little miss, like what are you doing? Come here and stuff and I just walk past them. It's frightening because you don't know what they actually want from you. Like you don't know if they want to have a normal conversation or if they want to do anything else, like take it like make the actions more seriously. And sometimes if I'm asking just one simple question that I actually can help them with, they go and take it further. So it'll be like, oh, so where are you going? Or who are you meeting and everything. I think they're trying it on, because obviously, like, I'm, and it's just like, I'm just walking down the street, do you know what I mean? So it's like, why else would you want to talk to me? You don't know me, like, I could be a really mean person. Why do you want to try and be my friend? So obviously you're trying to talk to me because you want something. How do you walk differently here to other places then? Tell me how you, how you walk when you're down here. In the middle of the road. In the middle of the road? Yeah. So if someone comes you can run. <laughs> that one either way. So in your head, when you're walking, have you got planned escape routes almost? Yeah. Yeah, usually when I'm walking past a group of people, if, like I usually have my phone out in my hand. So I'll look at my phone and then as I'm getting towards them, I'll look at them, take a good look at them, then just like have my head down and, walk fast. I usually like call my friends while I'm going somewhere. I look at them and then cut my eye and then um, just walk on. As I walk like, you know, like closer to a railing or closer like on the pavement, so not on like near the roads or anything. Usually if I'm already annoyed, I'll just shout something back like, no thanks, or I'm 16, or it's inappropriate. When I'm walking by myself, I have my earphones in and then like, if I'm around, like if I see a group of people, then I'll either turn my music down or take an earphone out just in case like they say anything or they try and take anything off me because I do get scared. I usually just ignore them and keep walking or sometimes like people in cars when they, when they stop and like call me over, I think I do know them but when I realise I don't I just like ignore them and walk away. It's just like random things like asking me to come into the cars and like um, asking me if, if I'm all right and everything, and I'm, cause I'm a, I am a genuinely kind person, like, I do answer back and say, oh, hi, and I just walk off. But then sometimes get, it got to the point now where I don't even like, speak, I just walk like, completely blank now. Cars would just always pull up next to me, 
Like I'd just walk past and sit just to tell them like I'm not interested but they'd like follow me and stuff. We were walking through the park because we'd come from Asda to get some milk from mum and then we was just like walking whatever and I was like Kyra I think someone's following us because I could hear him and I turned yeah. around and he was just like where that post is from like where we are, like there. So it's like Kyra I think he's following us so walk faster. So we started walking faster. <laughs> we ran into this little corner, tried to jump over the fence That's and obviously she couldn't she's not we were, none of us are really good at climbing. <laughs> and it was dark, like pitch black and everything. I had to throw the milk over, get her over and then we had to, and then I had to walk like climb over as well. It was probably scary. So we're running thinking, oh yeah we'll be because I thought we was at the part where there's that little gap. But we ran into a dead end so we was thinking, oh no Oh no. And then we're having to jump over the fence and everything. It is scary. And when oh, we were we yeah. um, was it 14? And um, is there an age group that does it to you more than other age groups? Um, just older people, really. Older? Yeah. Do you mind me asking how old you are? 17. 17. And when did this, when do you think you start, You when do you think you first had your first kind of sexual harassment or people making um, comments at you? I don't know. About 15 or something. I'm seeing like older, like old men, like probably 70s, 80s, like trying to call you as well. Like I'll walk down the street and they look at you and just try and like have a conversation with you. It can range because it can be like, I would say early 20s to like 50s. To me, that's what I've experienced, but I know it can be older because I know a lot of like um, older men, like 70s, couldn't have done it to my friends in the past as well. I think it's really weird, like how you see an old man have a conversation with a young girl. Like, obviously, you're gonna, get, you really want to get with someone like your own age. On a Friday one time, I did get followed. So you got followed. How old are you? Fourteen. What happened? I was walking my friend home, and then, um, and then like I've, he's kept come round the corner. And then I've walked like trying to get away from him. And then he stopped me and I was like, I weren't really trying to pay attention to him. And then he ended up asking me for a hug, asking for my number. And then when he went off to the shop to get a pen to write down his number, I ran and then I obviously phoned my mum. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. I don't think it matters whether you're on your own, but I think sometimes people do it when you're on your own to make you feel more intimidated. I don't know what they're going to do. All I know is they're shouting at me and I don't really know what, like, actions they're going to take or stuff like that. So you know when men or boys, I'll say young men, can't, um, <laughs> can't call his or um, like try and approach women or young females, what do you, what's the, why do you do that? I want to know why. Sometimes it's a show in front of the man. Some people get caught up when they're in a crowd and some guys don't like to maintain their individuality. I don't know really. The majority of the reason is for them to show up. Well, men stay that way always. They've always been like that from before, way before you was born, right? So it's not a new thing, do you know what I mean? It's just a thing that men do. Right, you get some men who, as the old time people say, are brought up, raised properly, and they have a line that they don't go across. And then you got some, some men who just deviate and just go way across the line. Sometimes forget that they've just left their daughter or their granddaughter or their mother in the house. Why do men call girls and young women? Wow, to be truthful to the girls. I'm not gonna try and justify it, right? Because man's supposed to be man and understand that little girl is a little girl, right? But then again, three quarters of the time when they're walking on the street and they're naked. Mm. Do you think it's got anything to do with the way girls dress? Mm, kind of. But Just be honest. Be honest kind, nah, it's 50-50 it's because you can sometimes see girls coming here all covered up and whatever. And they still do it just by the look of the face. Okay, so I'm bringing in man too. No? So the first enough you dress at that home. Stop coming out on the street naked. Because three quarters of these young girls nowadays when we want to shot something up here, they wear belly skin, they bore up them nose, them navel, them tongue, them bore everywhere. And they are something like 16, 15, 17 year old. They're not ready for those things. So they are inviting in man. I'll be fair, I have been on that little lane there where I have to think, oh god damn. Do you know what I mean? 
and I'd be just like, you know, and I'd be just like, Oof. and then obviously, and as I say, the second brain kicks in. Well, it happens to us when we dress like this. You know how you would dress like? You dress like that, no, you're talking to me, you drop everything and whatever. When you just come inside here, your belly skin was showing with the neighbor ring and everything. That's me. Yeah, but. Hmm? That's me, actually. But look how much clothes I've got on. I've got on no, this no, big old mini jacket. All that's... you can see is the midriff. That's literally yeah, it. That does, that's skin. not me trying to say that I want old men to try and chat to me. So why, why are you trying to say that? Because you can see this bit of my belly. I want man to chat to me. That's not the case at all. I'm 16. I'm of the legal age to get my belly going pierces at me and I want man to chat to me. So it's in a... So ask uh, this me is, a this question. Is, ask me a okay, question. Okay, but I'm just saying, do you think... So the way that we're dressed, so the way she's dressed, she's dressed, I'm dressed, and she's dressed. That means that man can chat to us. Hmm? Does what that I'm saying to you, to that's what I'm saying first, I'm not trying to justify it. Man should understand that you're a big man, leave little girls alone. I would say that, you know, there's times like where I've had to tell my daughter when she can go out, Dad, I'm going out with you, better go back and start again. Because you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's not appropriate for for young 15 year old or whatever. Not in my eyes. Where I'm from, Jamaica. Young 15 year old, 14 year old, don't dress like that. I have a 15-year-old daughter. She can't come on the road like I'm sitting up on the company road. It, it's, it's, it's down to mindset. A, a man who's been raised properly and knows what he should be doing, he'd be able to look at it and go, well, yeah, all right, I don't really. He'd see it the other way and thinking, mm -mm, we'll let my daughter out like that. What would you say sexual, sexual harassment is? What would you say that is? In my eyes, sexual harassment, well, to me, I feel like if you walk over to somebody and touch them without their consent, that's sexual harassment. A lot of guys don't know what sexual harassment is, it's just... You think that's why they do it? I think that's why they yeah, do it. Yeah, definitely. What, they don't know what sexual harassment is. They knew what it was when they were... You've been walking on the road and somebody calling to you, hold your head straight and go on your business, don't look at them. What about if they follow you? If they follow you, they're the wrong, you get me? It shouldn't be following you. You know that it shouldn't be following you. But you just keep yourself reserved on your business. If somebody follow you then, what I would say, go back to your parent, report it, try to see if you can find that person and point him out and let them take it up. Like your kids, what can you do? If my auntie was there, God rest her soul, if him get too close, just kick him down nuts. <laughs> what can you do, your kids? You understand me, so that's all I'm saying to you. You can't defend yourself out here. If a big strong man come up to you and try to, what are you going to do? Unless somebody's going to see it and chase after him. So, go back to your parents, yeah? If you don't really, if you don't really touch you or do anything or whatever, go back to your parents, tell them, pint him out, and let them take it from there. That's the best thing I see. What are they expecting from you? I don't know, just a girl to give him the number, really. And then what? And then apparently link up. And do you what? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I think you did. Emphasize. Um, you know them sexual kind of things. If I see somebody and she's attractive with my eyes, yeah, I want to be with her, that's why I approach her. That's what I expect from her, I expect to be with her, that's why I approach her. Simple. That's your discretion, isn't it? As a young girl, that's your discretion. You know the right and the wrong of that. Yeah, you know that that's a wrong situation. So for you as, as the individual girl, you stand firm in what, and that's what I tell my, my grandkids and, and my daughter, stand firm in that. Don't let no, if you don't need to go nowhere with no geezer, don't go nowhere with him. You know when um, older men do it, what, what message do they put across to young men, do you think, like boys your age? Um, really for them to follow their steps. Don't you think that's a good thing? Nope, obviously not. How I got raised, me personally, there's a line, you don't cross it, you understand? No matter what you see another geezer might be doing or whatever. And at the end of the day, you as a young person, yes you are young and you are beautiful, you are coming up. But I could be out of my mind to look on you and think, well, I'm going to follow you down the road. You're mad. I've got a daughter. In fact, I've got grandkids older than you. If we go back to the beginning, yeah, we made it that we both admire each other. Yeah, right. Now, I understand for you now, as a young girl coming up, as I say, you're just coming up the road, right? And you've got these old guys who've been, you've been here a while and they're doing what they're doing and they, they think, well, yeah, I can look at you. Yeah, but by the same rule, if you reverse it now, and they're on the street with their granddaughter or their daughter now, and another man does that. Probably a different, different situation. Guys, if you notice, if a woman believe in herself, yeah, and don't put herself down, understand me, I pull her head above water. No matter the man out there, have respect for her. Now. It's when you start behaving a certain way, man, don't have respect for you, ladies now. 
I'm telling you this from a man's point of view. If you hold your head up, respect yourself. I can't do nothing but respect you. But if you're going on like a little Trump around your place and going out with yourself, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the way I'm gonna deal with you. So if you don't have respect for yourself, nobody will respect you. It should respect women regardless, just because a girl comes out in shorts and a crop top, that doesn't mean that you have to lose respect for her. She obviously allows herself to leave her house because she feels good in them clothes, so why should she not leave her house in those clothes? It makes it, it makes me angry, but it makes me like sometimes feel self-conscious because I, I start to question whether I'm putting myself out in a certain way, like am I making myself look too old or am I putting myself out in a way that they're going to be thinking that I'm you know, want something else from them, do you know what I mean? If he wants to tell me what I need to wear so that men need to respect me in this area, he can come to my house and he can choose the clothes out my wardrobe for me, end of story. I think like, you should be able to do what you want and dress how you want and act how you want. We see in the newspaper, like what we see in the magazines online, it's a style. I see girls, I see, I see girls my age wearing whatever they want. I see girls walking around in a bra. Like, come on now, we're not, we, look at what we're dressed like. I'm dressed in a full thing, your head to toe. You can't see me, all you can see is my hands and my head. So it makes me question myself, but then I have to remind myself that it's not my, pro it's not my problem, it's they're causing the problem for me. And you know what the thing is, I'm not even, you know what, I'm not angry with him. But I'm not even angry with him, I'm not angry with him, because obviously everyone's entitled to their own opinion. It's just, how, how are you going to try and justify what you're saying to me when it doesn't make any sense? So what have we learnt from this project? We have learnt we aren't the only ones it's happening to. We aren't the only ones who feel scared, uncomfortable, intimidated by it. We aren't the only ones who want to know how can we make it stop. But for now, we don't know. Nobody's much you know. Like, has anyone ever, so if you've been followed or shouted at or getting stared at or getting harassed, has any Family stranger members. ever kind of gone, oi mate, leave her alone? No, no, no. I've never seen that. That's never happened. Never. That's never.